Starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Hurt him, Lassie, hurt him. Over this way. Get around in front of him. Boy, will Mom be mad we left that gate open? Come on, Lassie, go on, Lassie, move him. Lassie! Lassie, get around in front of him. Atta girl, atta girl. Hurt him, Lassie, hurt him. Over this way. Come on, Lassie, move it over here. Move it over here. yourself in trouble, Tenderfoot. Need some help? No. Lassie and I were just practicing bulldogging. Weren't we, girl? <laughs> My name's Charlie. What's yours? Timmy. Timmy Martin. Ouch. And this is Lassie. <laughs> That's just my horse nightmare. You got a salty steer there, cowboy. I'd like you to meet my pop, Lucky Gator. Hi, Timmy. Hi. Lassie. Is your pop around? I'd like to talk to him a minute. Well, you'll have to talk to my mom, because my dad's in View City, buying some livestock. Come on, I'll give you a hand with this Henri critter. How do you do, ma'am? How ma do you do? Me and my daughter are in town for tomorrow's rodeo, and one of the officials told me maybe we could board Charlotte's horse here. Well, um... We'd sure consider it a favor and pay whatever it's worth. Well, I guess it's all right. Thank you, ma'am. Easy, boy. That's a boy. Come on, back it down. Come on. Easy. There, easy, boy. Here, here. Stop it! What's got into your nightmare? Nightmare. Don't let the name scare you, ma'am. Nightmare is hardly more than a daydream now. <laughs> this broke gentle years ago. I don't rightly know how to explain this. Well, perhaps Lassie startled him. Timmy, <laughs> I mean, you better make Lassie behave. <laughs> that horse is like Mary's lamb, follows her everywhere she goes. All right, honey, let's hit the road. Got to sign up for the rodeo and find us a place to stay tonight. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Why don't you let Charlotte spend the day with Timmy? You could pick her up later. Sure. That'd be great. Well, that's right kind of you, ma'am. Charlotte would greatly enjoy that. How about it, honey? Are you sure you don't want me to go with you, Pop? No, you'll have a better time here. Bye, Pop. Love you, Wrangler. Pop's just got to do good tomorrow. Ever since Mom died, I've been taking care of him. Well, from what you've been telling us, there's a lot to learn about this rodeo business. Sure is. I've been around him ever since I was big enough to walk. <laughs> you know what, Mom? I'm going to be a rodeo rider when I grow up. Just like that, eh? Took Pop years to become a top hand. 
Was your pop ever a champion? He made championship standings every year. But last. What happened last year? Uh, it, it must take a lot of courage to be a rodeo rider. Well, Pop's got plenty of that. Just last year, a saddle bronc threw him. He hung up. I mean, his foot got caught in the stirrup. He was dragged and trampled all around the arena. Oh, why, that's terrible. It's a miracle he's still alive. Your dad must have been scared the next time he rode. Tomorrow is the next time. I'd better go tend to Nightmare. Timmy, I think Charlotte could use some help. a real rank bucking horse. But then he just quit as most of them do. A Bronx stomper rode him down to nothing. So he got him real cheap. He's my closest friend. Like me and Lassie. I guess animals are the best friends you can have. Hey, talking about animals, let's go take a look at those calves. You said you wanted to be a cowboy. I'll give you a few lessons. What kind of lessons? Oh, you'll see. See you later, Nightmare. I've ridden lots of cows in junior rodeos. I've never tried to ride a calf, but it doesn't look too hard. Of course, it's nothing compared to riding a bronc. That's something I've always wanted to know. How do they train a horse to bronc? <laughs> they don't teach a horse to buck. It's just born in them. They're outlaws and don't want to be ridden. Gosh, honestly? Sure. Some horses buck till they die. But most of them just stop, like Nightmare did. <coughs> See that calf over there? He looks pretty mad. <coughs> you want to see me ride him? I think Dad will like this girl. Give me a hand, dude. We gotta make a sur single. A what? A sur single. Come on. <laughs> When I get this off, slip the rope behind his front legs, and then hand it to me. Okay. Well, here goes. Step back, Timmy. Where'd you go and do that for? 
<laughs> What's so funny? You look like you were riding a racehorse. Why didn't you let go? I couldn't. I didn't mean to laugh at you, Timmy. It took a lot of nerve to do what you did. All that cowboy stuff isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> I should have seen Timmy today. I think he'll make a keen cowboy. <laughs> oh. I don't know about that cowboy stuff. I think I'll, I'll just stick to farming. Can I come in? Oh, yes, come in. Hi, Pop. I'm sorry I'm so late, Mrs. Martin. I had a rough time finding a place to stay. I hope Charlotte hasn't been causing you too much trouble. No, not at all. She and Timmy had a wonderful time. What kind of horses did you drop, Pop? Well, I'm sure these folks aren't interested. We'll talk about it later. Gee, I've waited all day. We're interested. Thanks again, ma'am. We'll pick up Nightmare in the morning. Thank you, Mrs. Martin. Gosh, Mr. Gaynor sure acted funny. Yes, he did. I wonder what's bothering him. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am, but something's come up and me and Charlotte will be pushing on. Oh, it's nothing serious, I hope. Here, won't you come in? I'll fix some cups of soup. Now, we've got to hit the road. I just want to pay you for Nightmare's board and be on our way. But what about the rodeo? You see, Pop's bad leg got to acting up. So we figured we might as well forget the rodeo. It's painted him something fierce. If there's one thing I've taught you, it's to tell the truth. These folks deserve to know why we're leaving. It's plum simple. I'm spooked. Plain English, I've lost my nerve. Well, I've always believed that admitting your fears and facing them is half the battle. You've already done that. all excited about, Lassie. That man in the moon will be gone by morning. Maybe what's bothering you will be gone by morning, too. Maybe you're right, ma'am. Some things best be slept on. Hey, sweetheart. to ride in the bareback bronc event is Phil Mathias of Sweetwater, Texas. with the score of 168. Bill Mitchell with 170 and Keno Mayfield with 172. <laughs> and now, the finish of the calf roping. Are you ready to admit a bit, Mr. Gaynor? No, Pop only signed up for the saddle bronc ride. That should do me for one day.
Keno Mayfield is still leading Bill Mitchell by three points and Jack Arnold by five. Now, this is the one you all have been waiting for. The next event will be the saddle bronc riding. Well, we better get ready. This one, Lucky. Came all up to the horse. Lucky Gator seems to be having a lot of trouble in the shoe with Loco. Get away. That rock's hurt his leg. What happens now? It's all over. For Pop, anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlotte. have a substitute horse for Lucky Gainer. Lucky will ride Nightmare. This horse hasn't bucked in years. That's tough. I guess it's this or nothing, Lucky. That horse of yours still has a bucking heart. You know, Lassie, I sure need you. You give a fellow I did. You just saw the great Lucky Gainer show you how it's done. He scored a total of 180 as winner of the Saddle Bronc event. Yippee! Oh, I'm glad it's over. It's just the beginning, thanks to you folks. Sure got a lot of horse sense. 